Okay, here's a little tour of this van before the customer picks it up. Start out at the uh, outside. We've got a, uh, a warm white uh, black light mounted on the outside. Switch for it just right inside the door. Uh, switch right above it is, uh, is for the water pump. Got the uh, ceiling puck lights on dimmers. Then we've got uh, GFI for the induction cooktop and a cigarette lighter plug or 12 volt socket. Stepping inside, we've got our custom carbon fiber control panel, uh, Victron inverter charger, battery monitor, uh, water tank sensor, um, Elwell Timberline hydronic heat and, uh, and hot water, and um, Wi-Fi wi on and off. Um, upper cabinet here, we've got all of our uh, DC breakout panel there. Um, this is the uh, Peplink Pepwave Max uh, dual, uh, dual LTE modem uh, unit. Uh, goes to a, uh, a roof mounted antenna. And in the ceiling, we've got a, uh, a ceiling center centerpiece that's uh, Chilowich is the name of this uh, name is fabric. It's kind of a, a woven thing. It's nice, nice texture there. Um, above the uh, the bed here, we've got two uh, consoles here for um, the reading lamps and a 12 volt socket. And this is the light or the switch for the uh, for the kick lights, so the customer can just turn on the uh, ambient lights, uh, getting out of bed at night, and that kind of thing. All of our wiring for the uh, switches here. Uh, obviously, there's no counter or anything here yet, uh, but all the wiring runs through and up, and we try to keep this as slim as possible for the drawer that will be built here. Speaking of the uh, hydronic heating system, um, we've got this little area here. I believe there's gonna be a lagoon table mounted here. We've got uh, power for that little workstation. And underneath this panel, we have the um, hot air, uh, one of two hot air, um, heat exchangers for the hydronic system. Uh, an additional little touch, um, this is the hot air output and on the uh, cold air intake uh, there's there's a filter there um, so that way there shouldn't need to be any cleaning directly of the heated heating unit. Um, you can swap out those filters uh, and they collect collect stuff so you don't get the burning dust smell when things inevitably get dusty. Coming around to the back, um, we've got our uh, shore power main and uh, branch circuits for the uh, inverter, for the AC. Uh, we've got a plug here. Uh, this is gonna probably get used for an e-bike that'll get back, uh, put back here. Uh, 12 volt plug and uh, dimmer for the, for the uh, light that's underneath the bed frame. Um, we've got a, a water tank back here, and those are the uh, hydronic uh, lines that run to the hot water heat exchanger. The rest of the plumbing is still yet to be done. And then the other hot air exchanger is behind that grill there. And that is the guts of the Elwell Timberline hydronic system. Everything runs through the floor there and goes outside for the furnace and, and to run up front to the heat exchanger up front. We've got our uh, uh, Victron 12 3000 
Um, four Battleborn 100 amp hour batteries, uh, four aught wiring, class T fuse, um, breakers for individual things, um, a battery protect. I always put these in in line with our um, DC panel branch circuits. The idea being that um, this will this will shut down in a in a low battery scenario before the BMSs um, ever get low enough to actually shut down individually. Um, I'd rather have I'd rather have control here and have things shut down before they get to that critical low state. Um, uh, Victron uh, solar charge controller and uh, Sterling uh, battery to battery charger. Um, what else? This will get mounted up here. We've got access through here for the main battery on and off. Uh, we've got some ventilation for the uh, the two battery chargers and ventilation for the uh, inverter charger. Uh, hot air out, cool air in uh, on that side. Um, these little bedside lamps are just touch activated with a red option. Uh, and then the under cabinet light uh, at the foot of the bed has a dimmer uh, right at the bottom of it, right there. So it can be accessed from, from bed or, or standing at the counter area. Plenty of lighting, lots of light. And then of course we've got our our shore power uh, connection outside. And I guess I can climb up on the roof. Up here we've got um, obviously Max Air Fan. This is the um, combination antenna, um, LTE and, and Wi-Fi and GPS. And then we have four Renogy uh, 100 watt solar panels. And that pretty much takes up the whole roof. And then underneath, you probably won't be able to see. Nope, it's dark. <laughs> underneath there's the, the burner and that kind of thing for the um, hydronic heating system. Okay. Another very happy customer, long time DIY project nearing, nearing an end. Just have some plumbing and some painting and, uh, they'll be off on adventures down to Mexico and all over the place. Also side note, the, uh, painter step because they have the van compass lift kit, which you also can't see right now. But they've got their Falcon shocks and a couple inch lift.